Don Hingi. Special case for this. Much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region, then we say that. All right. So welcome to another discussion um, on this video in which we are going to discuss. Um, a most uh, an important topic no? for uh, basic engineering mathematics which is all about we should write here on our board no? this is about units prefixes and engineering notation no? Okay, so the importance of this one, no? the importance of this topic is for us to have a knowledge especially on the engineering quantities no? and the prefixes and the engineering notation. So for example, if we are going to be given with a quantity and its unit of 80 kilo volts, no? So, 80 kilovolts would mean 80 times 10 to the power of 3 volts. Or we could say that one as 80,000 volts. Okay. Then, if we will have 25 milliamperes, no? Milliamperes. Then, this is equal to 25 times 10 to the power of negative 3 amperes or equal to 0 0.025 amperes okay so for this instance no for these two examples we have used the units no these are the units the volts and the amperes then the prefixes so which is kilo for, for eight for this one and milli for this 25 milliamperes no okay then engineering notation no so for our first example, this is the engineering notation, and for the second, this is the engineering notation. Now, what is the full purpose of having this one? For us to be able to represent small quantities and large quantities, so this is a large quantity, this is a small quantity, into a simple manner. No? Because if we are going to calculate numbers, especially in engineering, no? you're going to calculate. So if we will always be writing this large number or this small number it will be a um, cumbersome for us no it will be difficult so that's why we will use the prefixes and the and the uh, the notation for us to be able to represent small and large quantity in a simple manner okay so first we will go to the units no we will first discuss units okay so maybe i will just drag this table here no Okay, let's drag this one. Okay, below. Okay. So in engineering, we have two common units, no, or two units that we are usually using. So first, we have the English system, no. English system. Okay. The English system, some the. Uh, they say that it is the um, oldest, no? The oldest standardized form of measurement, no? Standardized form or the standardized, oldest standardized units of measurements, no? So we could say this one as units also, no? Units. Okay. Because according to history the english system started with uh, during the medieval period so that's why for an example of a unit of english system is the feet no the feet or foot no foot because uh, on on the uh, during this era or during the medieval period 
uh, the way uh, people measure length no, or distances is by foot. And the standard measure of foot, no, or the, the standard they use is the foot of the king, no, the king. So that's why the unit for length, no, is foot. Then we have also inches, no, for smaller units. Then you have gallons, so barrels. So that is the English system. Of course, as uh, now there there is a standardized. Um, unit no uh, so there's quantity for a foot which is 12 inches no so uh, today if we are going to use the english system we will not be um using uh, the the foot no of any monarch so a king or a queen no for that instance because there is now a standard so there are some countries no, that still use the english system uh, mainly america and some parts of europe no but the the uh, what's called that the uh, the uh, uh, the standardized or the most standard or the uh, the universally accepted unit of measurement uh, for for today or for the uh, for the modern um for the modern technology as of now is the SI system no so it is um known as the systeme no? this is the complete no? the complete 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 a name for this one so this is um in french no in french international no international i am not um i don't flow with in french no so the units okay so this is just uh, just forgive me on my uh, French, no? Okay. So, sis, uh, Sisteme International, the units, or the international, so we just have the English uh, wording for this one, no? International System of Units. So, you might wondering, why is it French, no? Because... Um, when it is uh, first conceptualized and these scientists and engineers agreed on this one is on France so that's why the uh, the name the name is in French no but we we shorten that one as a the SI system okay so the SI system was introduced on 1960 no so it is introduced on 1960 okay and as of now have been adopted by the majority of countries as their official system of measurement including the philippines so we have the basic seven uh units no used in the si system and this is the and these are the seven basic units so we have length mass time electric current thermodynamic temperature luminous intensity and the amount of substance so the unit for length we have the meters okay the unit for mass we have the kilogram the unit for time seconds the unit for electrical current or electric current that is amperes thermodynamic temperature or the temperature kelvin then the luminous intensity so the brightness that is candela and the amount of substance or the amount of material present on, on a certain um on a certain uh, object is mole the symbol so this is the symbol so per uh, meter so so this is on the english um spelling no the metric but if you are using the american that is meter so m-e-t-e-r no but i believe that this table is based on the um, british no or english uh, british english no so we have metric so symbol is m for the kilogram kg for time second for current amperes then kilvin so we have k no so k so the reason for this one is written on big letters no the symbol for amperes and kilvin because ampere is taken from a name of a person no and also kilvin then we have 
candela which is CD and mole which is MOL. So these are the seven basic units for SI system. Okay? Then we have also the so-called Okay, we have some Okay. We, we will have some space below. Okay. We have also the so-called derived units, no? So the derived units is the combination of these seven basic units for SI system. So an example for that is the unit for speed. No? The unit for speed, okay, the unit for speed is in meters per second. So meaning that the unit for speed is derived from two uh, basic units, no? which is meters, which is the unit for length, and second, which is the unit for time. No? So you just move here the... Um, so we have the meter, so this is for the length, and the time is for second. So that if we have that one meters per second, so that is now the unit for speed. So the symbol for that is ms. Okay. Another one is for force. No. So the unit for force is because the the formula for force no is um, mass uh, mass times acceleration. No. So mass times acceleration. So we have this one as kilogram. No kilogram per. A uh, kilogram meter we have kilogram meter per second squared okay so this is again another derived unit no we have kilogram for weight or mass meter for length second squared so seconds is for um, time no so the symbol for this one is kilogram meter per second squared. But for force, force is also considered as a derived unit with special name. No, so it has a special name. We should write this one in the color. So special name. So the special name for the unit for force is newton. Okay. The symbol for newton is n. Okay. So that is the uh, the unit for force which is newton okay so we will have here the uh, table no? a table of units which are commonly used no Co commonly used in engineering so maybe i will just get the table from our reference book no Okay. Let me just uh, paste it here. Okay. So I hope it could be. Just, just try to have this one larger, no? Okay. So we have here, these are the common units no? or the common quantities and its units in which we are going to use no? or we, which are commonly used if we are going to study engineering. So first, we have the length, of course, one of the uh, basic, no? the, basic, the seven basic units for SI system. So we have length, meter, area. So this is another quantity and it's derived unit is square meter so this is the symbol then we have volume so cubic meter so this is the symbol mass so one of the basic unit no kilogram time second electric current ampere speed or velocity so as of now we will consider speed and velocity as um, uh, the same no the same of course later on especially if you'll have your physics or mechanics, engineering mechanics, you will learn, you will know that speed and velocity are different. No, 
So, the unit is meter per second or m uh, m over s, no? that is a symbol, m per s. Then, acceleration, so meter per second squared, so another derived unit. Density, so kilogram per cubic meter. Then, temperature, so Kelvin or Celsius. But the standard is Kelvin. Then, Celsius is also known as degree centigrade. So, this is the symbol. So, this is the symbol for Kelvin and this is the symbol for degree Celsius. Angle, so regions or degree. Angular velocity, regions per second. So, or rad over s, frequency, hertz, so this is the symbol for hertz, hz, force, newton, pressure, pascal, so pa, energy or work, work that is joule, power, watts, um, charge, no? charge, or the quantity of electricity that is coulomb, c, electric potential, volt or voltage, no? this we also... Uh, we will also consider as electric potential as voltage. So the word is volt. Capacitance, farad. Electric, re electrical resistance or resistance, ohm. So this is a symbol for ohm. Inductance, Henry. And the moment of force, Newton meter or Nm. Okay, so these are the, the different no? uh, or the common quantities and its units that we are uh, that we will be using in our study of engineering. So, from this table, we also try to ha to um, to see which of these are the derived and not the derived units. No, so for the first one, okay. So for meters, so meters is a. This is one of the um, one of the standard, no, the standard quantities, no. Or they are also known as the uh, the seven, no seven basic units. So this is one of the basic units. So we we'll have that one as basic units. The meter, the area or the square meter. This is a derived unit, no derived unit. Then the bullion, another derived unit. Kilogram. So this is the basic, no. Then time, so uh, again, basic unit. Ampere, that is basic. Speed, no? speed, so meters per second. So it is composed of two basic units. So this is a derived unit. Acceleration is also a derived unit. Then density, so another derived, no? that is kilogram per cubic meter. So kilogram, a basic unit. And meter is again another basic unit. So, temperature, so Kelvin, so Kelvin is a basic unit, no? Then, radians, so this is a basic. Uh, radians per second, so this will be derived, that is for angular velocity. Frequency, so this is basic, no? But, of course, we could say that um, frequency is equal to cycles per second, no? So, this will not be considered as basic okay okay this is derived so frequency it is derived from the unit cycles per second so we have two units so that will be derived so it is a derived unit with a special name which is hertz no then we have force so force is a derived unit then the newton no? the newton is a derived unit pascal so pascal is newton per square meter so this is a derived unit with a special name then energy or work or joule so joule is a derived unit because joule is uh, we know that energy is equal to equal to the force times the distance travel no so we could say that one that is newton meter no newton meter so like the moment of force so this is a derived unit with a special name power so power is joules per second so this is also a derived unit with special name okay so charge also is 
a special unit, a special a unit with a special name. So this is derive. Okay. So this is derive here. So this is equal to the current ampere per second. Volts also is a derived unit. No, derived unit. So this is equal to the amount of work done by a current. So that is amperes, no joules per amperes. Farad is another derived unit with special name. Ohms is a derived unit that is volt per a uh, uh, volt per ampere, no. So that is a resistance. So this is also a derived unit henry no henry is the inductance so this is again another derived unit with special name and the last one is the newton meter so this is a derived unit so usually as long as it will not fall in the seven basic units except for the unit for degrees and um the degrees no you give me that's the degree the angle so it is considered to be as a derived unit but some derived units like i said have a special name with newton joule watts column no and if the unit is represented by a capital letter it means that the unit is derived from a name of a scientist or a physicist or an engineer okay so i believe that will be all for this video so i hope you understand something about the units no the units used in uh, engineering no the units used for engineering so we have tackled about the the importance of units prefixes and engineering notation so that is used if we are going to represent our very large and very small quantities especially in our calculations and we have also discussed the two system of units so we have the english and the si okay so the english is the all this form of standardized units of measurement and the SI system is introduced was introduced in 1960. Then we have this table here, which represent the seven basic units for SI system. And we have another table of the quantities, no, commonly used, no, co co commonly used in our study of engineering. And we have and we manage and we try to ca categorize the units into which of them is a basic unit are basic units and which are derived units okay so that will be all for this video thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning within this one the FTR region.